Hi students, my name is Trish Rofi and I am part of the Emerging Technology team and today I'm going to show you how we can use Google Sites to create a digital portfolio and showcase what we know to our families. And so website design is a very important skill to have in today's world because everybody uses a website. So we're going to be using a Google Site to do that. Now your teacher might have you create your own Google site from scratch where you design everything from the beginning. What I also have available is a way for you to make a copy of a template that I have already started for you as a Google site to make things a little easier. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. You do what your teacher show you how to do. But the first step we're going to be doing is showing you how to go to my folder and make a copy of my site. So I have shared a link to this folder with your teacher. And when you open up the link to the folder, you're going to be able to see this. This folder actually belongs to me in my Google Drive. What you're going to be doing is right clicking on that Google site file and you're going to be choosing make a copy. What it's going to do is it's going to pop up a little window for you to name it. Once you've made the copy, if you go into your recent of your Google Drive, you're going to see the copy of the site. There's mine. I named it Trish Digital Portfolio Template because I made a copy. That's the one I'm now going to double click and open so I have my site ready to build. So now it's your turn. I want you to pause. I want you to go to the folder that has the site template. You're going to right click on the site and you're going to choose make a copy. Then you're going to go into the recent section of your Google Drive and open up the copy that you've renamed with your name on it. Give that a try and when you're done, come back to this video. All right, we have our site. Now I'm gonna to get to personalize it a little bit. Now there's a lot of things you can personalize in this Google site, such as theme, color, font, you name it. We're gonna start with the basics today, just to launch the portfolio. But of course, when your teacher allows you, go ahead and add more personalization to it so that it really showcases who you are as a learner. So what we're gonna be doing first is looking at adding our names and looking at changing that banner. And I'll show you where those themes and colors are. So now that I have my site open, notice that it's named in the top right hand corner because I already named it when I made the copy. But what I'm going to do here is I want to go ahead and put my name on this. So now it's my digital portfolio. Now I've given you all a portfolio image to get you started. But when I hover over this image, one thing I can do is I can click change image. And I can select an image. It's going to give me a gallery of images that are already available to me. Maybe there's a color you like or a pattern that you like. You can also go ahead, if you wanted to, you could do a Google search. These are creative copy, uh, copyright free images that you are allowed to use uh, for learning. So I could go search for books. Maybe I want to search for science or math or anything. I can choose any one of these images I want and it's gonna go ahead and put it on my page. Now notice it's adjusting for readability. What that means is sometimes it dulls it or lightens it to put text over top. If you don't want that, click those little magic stars to make it bright again. So now I have my digital portfolio ready. If you wanted to be able to change your themes, you're gonna to go to the right hand side where you see themes and you can see I have a simple theme. I've chose a dark emphasis color. My font style is a nice heavy style. But if you wanted to click and change the theme, you just click on any one of these and it will change your theme for you. Remembering whatever you change the theme to, it will apply to your entire site. When you're done, just click back on your insert menu and we'll be able to continue building our portfolio. So, now it is your turn. I want you to pause this video. You're going to go ahead and try changing the banner, changing the theme if you want, and adding your name to your portfolio. When you're done, come back to this video for the next step. 
All right, now we've set the stage. We have our site ready to put some content on it. So what I have given you is I've given you a layout. It just means a little structure for you to be able to enter things into that is already there for you on the page. If you wanna be able to choose your own layout or how things are organized on your page, you're more than welcome to. This is just a way to make it easy for new users. But we're gonna be adding some content from our drive. All of our assignments that we made for our teacher inside of Google Classroom are saved in our Google Drive. So it's very easy to find. You can find them inside the Classroom folder. Click on the Google Classroom, click on the assignment. You can also find them just by going to Recent or by searching the name. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like to put in a couple of assignments to be able to share with my parents afterwards. So on my site, if I scroll down to my template, I can see that I've given some layouts. Where I got these layouts were, were right here on this right-hand side. So if I was to click any one of these buttons, maybe I want a different layout, there's my layout it gives me. I can actually drag these. So if I wanted to maybe add this a little further up, a little right here, and then be able to use them, I can absolutely do that. It's just a nice placeholder to be able to put content on your site. So I've chosen the one that has the three layout and I've given you some things to put on here. You don't have to use these, it's just to help you. When I press the plus button, it's going to give me some options. I can select an image. So if I just wanna have an image here, I can put in a video from YouTube, but what we're looking for is Drive. This is gonna open up my Google Drive and allow me to choose content. I can search for this just by going to the folders and looking in the proper folder. Or if I keep scrolling over, I could go to Recent. So if it's something that I've recently opened up, then it will be sitting there waiting there for me. Or of course, I could search it by name, if I remember the name of that assignment. So I'm gonna go ahead into my Recent, and here is an example of a social studies, Google's drawing that was done. I'm gonna hit that and say Insert. It's gonna fit it inside that box, and now I can give it a title and a description. I can do that for other types of materials. I can go back to my drive. I can go back to recent. And I could go ahead and choose something else. Like maybe this time I want a Google Doc. Here we go. There's a Google Doc that I'm going to be able to put in. I have an essay that was written. So you can see all these different types, how easy it is to just simply keep clicking that plus button and choosing what it is you want to put in. If you also have Screencastify videos that you have created and saved in your drive, so I have a video here of me doing a reflection, I can also include that video. Now notice I'm clicking it, oh, the play button's not working. The play button's not working right now, no problem. I can go ahead, if I wanna see what my site is gonna look like, I'm gonna go ahead and click my preview button. This allows me to see what will it look like when it's finished. I can scroll down and oh yeah, there's all my items in here. I can even press play, my video will work. So I would be able to watch that. Today I and it will all be embedded right here on my site. When I'm done previewing it, I can go ahead and click the little blue X. So it's so easy to put materials on your page. So this is now your job. I want you to pause this video. You're gonna click on the plus button and add a file or a video from your drive. And then I want you to practice adding a title and a description, and you can even put in a question that you would like your family to ask you about that file. When you're done, come back to this video. It couldn't be easier to build your own website, and now we already have content on it. So now what I wanna be able to do is I wanna publish it so that others can look at this. So when we publish, only people inside of Edmonton Catholic can look at it. So it will be important when you're sharing this with your family that you're logged in at home and you are showing your site. But we can share this link with our teacher in our Google Classroom. So I'm gonna show you how to publish it. And then if we make a change, we have to publish it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and practice that. I'm gonna go ahead and publish my site because right now I'm in the editor for my site. I wanna be able to publish this. So I'm gonna hit the publish button and it's going to give it a name. Now, if a name is taken, I can add numbers to the back. It really doesn't matter. I'm now gonna go ahead and I wanna be able to hit publish. 
and now it's ready for others to see. How others see it is I use this little drop down arrow that now shows up beside publish and I can now view published site. This is now what people will see when they're going to look at my web page. I can see I have some places I still need to fill in, but this is a work in progress. What I can do is if I go back to my editing structure, the link I'm going to share with my teacher, I'm going to copy the published link, copy link, and that's what I'm going to hand in inside my Google Classroom. Now, let's say I wanted to make a change to this site. I was ready to add something else. I went to my drive and I had something else I worked on because we can work on these portfolios throughout the term. I'm going to go ahead and choose something else that I've made. So once it's pulled this up, I'm going to go find something else that I've made. Uh, maybe here I was working on a little bit of visual math. I'm going to choose insert. It's going to show up here on my editor page, but if I look at my digital portfolio page, ah, it's not there. What I have to make sure that I do is if I make any other changes, every time I make changes, I need to go ahead and hit publish. It's going to let me review the differences of my portfolio, the differences that I made. It's going to show it to me. And if I'm happy with it, I'm going to say publish one more time. Now my link will be updated for everyone to see. When you're ready to share it with your families, what will be fun about this is you're going to be able to go ahead and show them the things on your page. You'll be able to talk to them about the artifacts. And if you ever want these artifacts to be a little bit bigger, because this maybe is hard to look at this entire essay here, remember on your sites, you always see this little pop out button. This will actually open up your file in another tab just so that you can see it a little more clearly. So that's going to be your job now. We want you to be able to publish. Make sure you pause this video and publish your site and give it a name. Practice making a change and clicking publish again. Then seeing if you can find that view publish site link in order to share this with your families and with your teachers. That's it, you're web designers. I hope you enjoyed making a digital portfolio with Google Sites. Good luck everybody.